How's it going, everybody? Level M Diecast. Fast and Furious. I know there's some people out there who think, why won't it just die? Me? I'm glad it hasn't died. Uh, it's a little bit different now than it was, but it's still good. This is the newest Fast and Furious mix. Now, this is not the Fast and Furious line that we used to have. Uh, this is uh, Replica Entertainment. So these are all re-released decos, but don't be sleeping on these models. Uh, this first one we're going to take a look at, this is the 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Of course, that guy did debut in one of the previous Fast and Furious mixes, and of course he was re-released again with some separate wheels. Now we have our third set of wheels for this particular model. Um, I do find it kind of interesting that we have not seen this casting in some other line of premium stuff from uh, Hot Wheels, so maybe they're having some difficulty with that. But uh, we're going to take a look at this guy. We're going to do this a little different format because I like changing up the format sometimes. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to rip this guy right open. Like I said, he is number one of five. Pull him right off of his blister. If we can. Here we go. Get our junk out of here. So this is our brand spanking new Eclipse does come with those six spoke wheels in black was kind of uh, uh kind of tines i guess kind of interesting looking wheel uh just a common wheel from hot wheels but um he still has the plastic spoiler on the back just like he has always had uh this is the original version here did come with these uh not so accurate wheels uh did get a lot of gripe for that but they're they're a little bit closer um they're way closer than these that is probably the closest wheel we got uh, on the actual Eclipse. But as far as the decos go, uh, the new one does have a teeny little bit uh, darker uh, glass in there. Not by much. Uh, you'll see that there's, you know, different quality of prints in there. But they're essentially the same print. Same little decals right there on the side of the fender. Side of the bumper. That's kind of the contrast between the two decos. Uh, from the very, very original one. Uh, it is a little bit of a um, kind of a duller green on the new one, which is on the top, of course. And then taking a look at the back, those deets, you know, the you know, the color is a little bit different on the taillight bar. You know, you have your new one on the top. Um, same plate, same details on the plate. Obviously, a little bit better print quality on the new one. Same details on the other side. Uh, the biggest change you're going to see, though, is going to be on the base. So we're going to have our new guy on the bottom. For one, you'll see that the new one is a completely matte black versus the satin black from the original. Um, the other thing you'll notice is the original one was from Thailand. This new one is made in Indonesia. Um, as a matter of fact, this entire set will be that. So if you guys are kind of curious on why you should get this set, if you already have some of these previous ones, that's why you should because... They are all brand new decos, or I'm sorry, brand new base, um, you know, deets. There we go. Uh, this is the comparison to the one after that. Um, again, a little bit different detail on the light bar on the back. You see the difference between the two, the orange corner versus the red corner on the new one. Same details on the back, though, same plate. Other details are the same. Take a look at the base. Flip this guy around. So, again, on the new one. Completely matte black on the base details. The previous one was that satin black. So all of these will be more than likely different on the bases. So that is the Eclipse. Definitely worth it. Not a huge fan of the black wheels, but we'll we'll take it. All right, number two. This is the 240SX, a.k.a. the S14. And yes, we've seen the S14 before. This is not new deco, as mentioned. You'll see that this is already a rolling theme with the new set. This is you know, black wheels, but that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm just glad that they did something different with them. Typically, you know, re-releases are re-releases, especially in their uh, retro entertainment or the um, yeah retro entertainment line. They're they're always the same ones over and over and over. So at least in this replica entertainment line, uh, we get a little bit better uh, you know shot. So we'll take this. Um, out the blister again the fighting with the cardboard always a 
fun time fighting with the cardboard. There we go. Get that out of there. This is our brand new S14 covered in cardboard now. Apologize for that. Um, looks pretty good. Um, I really like this one with these these black wheels on it. I think it looks really, really good. Um, it's it's relatively bright in the camera. I assure you guys that the uh, red's a lot darker than it shows here. So we take a look. There is a significant difference between the colors and the reds for sure. Uh, this new one here is a bit metallic. Just a little bit uh, versus the other one, which is not metallic at all. Um, they seem to be the same level of tint on the windows, though, so no difference there. Taking a look at the prints on the front. You'll notice the prints on the new ones, all these new ones with the black wheels. They're a little bit just darker in general. Just a little bit more um, heavy on the shadowing and whatnot of the prints. Other than that, they are the same. Take a look at our side details. You'll see that mine on the top had a little bit of a flaw right there not a big deal that's a uh, you know manufacturing flaw so it is what it is other than that they are the same decos you'll see that there is some you know contrasting between the prints again there's a lot more black in the new one versus this old one just kind of the way that it is still has all the exact same prints on it though still looks pretty good take a look at the rear the original is on the left you'll see that they or I'm sorry the new one is on the left uh, they did change the plate they changed the plate, so I'm not really sure why they changed the plate. Um, should you want to try to decipher those plates, if there's a deciphering there to decipher. So it's kind of interesting that they changed the plates. So two different plates on each one. Again, the original is on the right. The new one is on the left. So very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Same details on the other side. Uh, flip these around to take a look at the bases. Again, there you go. They have like this matte finish to all the bases, I think is probably what's going to be. I think all five of them will have this matte, real rough matte finish uh, to the bases versus the satin ones from original. Again, Thailand base on the original, Indonesia on the new one. So if you are a true completist, you will have to have these. It's just a have to have. Have to have it. Whew. A little bit of a bias here. We love the R33 here at Level and We love the R33. Um, but we'll give it a fair look over just as we have before. Uh, this is, again, same as before. Um, I do like the black wheels on this one. Looks pretty good. The card art is pretty nice as well. Uh, just looks very, very good. Uh, you know, R33 doesn't get all that much love. Um, you know, personally, R32 and R34 are just kind of junk. We like the R33. We are ultra biased. So we will get this guy open. Get the cardboard out of there. I think Hot Wheels has really gone a little bit more upscale with their packaging because they actually package up a little bit better. Uh, so this guy had the same wheels as the Eclipse. So looks pretty decent. Again, probably going to be some details in the prints. Just going over this, this guy does have a painted yellow base because it is part of the front lip. And then, of course, it is the exhaust in the back. So we'll take a look at our deets here. Uh, you can see right away the prints are significantly different from each other. I mean, significant. Uh, your original on the top is basically like blue and gray shades. And then on the bottom, it's a lot of uh, dark gray and black. So very, very different between the two. Very interesting, the the difference between those prints is very, very contrasting. Uh, taking a look at the prints on the front, they are similar to each other. They still look pretty good between the two. Um, you know, the GTR symbol is just way too small to see on either one of them. Um, but it's it's there. It's there. Uh, taking a look at the yellows themselves, the new one is on your left. Uh, there is a significant change between the yellow. The original was a bit of a metallic yellow. This one is just regular gloss yellow. Um, and you can see that through the shine. There's actually pretty nice yellow on the original one. The uh, tint windows are the same. New one on your left. Taking a look at the deets on the back. This one does, in fact, have the same plate between the two. Prints are a little bit different. The taillight prints are much better on the new one, which is on the left. Um, and then the little, um, you know, decals that are on the, you know, trunk with the GTR logo and whatnot look a little bit, a little bit crisper on the new one. So 
They're still pretty good. They're still still pretty nice. I think they're equally impressive. You can just tell that the prints on the left one on the new one's just a little bit better. And of course, details on the other side are the same. And then taking a look at the bases. The new one on the top. Indonesia versus the original one, which is uh, Thailand on the bottom. So rolling theme for sure. Uh, this is the one that there's going to be all kind of fanboys about. Uh, there is a ton of people out there that absolutely love the R34. Uh, personally, you know, it's it's not that great. Uh, it's definitely better than the R32, though, that's for sure. Um, obviously, again, not first time we've seen this deco. This is Brian's R34 from Too Fast, Too Furious. The original, or the first three, were all from the original Fast and Furious. So, kind of an interesting choice. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and just crack this guy open. We'll get into this one. Don't want to make any of the R34 guys wait. Don't want to be that guy. So this is the new R34. It does come with the five spokes, which I think is a good choice. Other than that, looks like it's going to be all the same details, same deco and all that good stuff like that. We'll put our original on the top and take a look at the side. The original came with those six spokes, but in chrome. Uh, you can see that the uh, blue striping on the side is significantly darker on the new one, which is on the bottom. Uh, just a little bit better prints for the side marker light and the GT logo on the uh, on the front fender as well. Looks pretty good. Uh, silvers look to be exactly the same. So we'll see if we get a better angle of that. Uh, looking at the prints on the front, you'll notice again on the bottom, the new one, the prints are just much darker. There's just a lot more black in them. Uh, the headlight print itself is a little bit bigger on the new one, which is on the bottom. Uh, GTR logo is a little bit bigger on the new one as well on the bottom. Uh, just trying to get those to focus a little bit for us. So definitely much, much better prints on the front. Looks pretty good. Um, as far as that striping on the top, new one is on the left. Original is on the right. Uh, same, you know, sponsors and all that kind of stuff. Does look like the same tint of window. Looks pretty good. Um, you'll see on the new one there is black outline around the windows as well which was not uh, prevalent on the original. So you see all this black printing back there. looks pretty good. Original is going to be on your left. They do have the same plate between the two. Silvers do look the same. Tail lights look the same. All the deets look the same. A little bit better on the Nissan logo on the new one on the left. Just a little bit more print. Although the uh, third brake light on the uh, original on the right looks a little bit better. So kind of an interesting contrast. Uh, taking a look at the base deets, again, they kind of have this, you know, matte black thing going on, which I guess, you know, if that's, if that's, the, they're kind of making how they, trying to make them different, I guess, but the bases are different, you know, you have Thailand and Indonesia, so it's perfectly fine. So again, you got to be a completist, you got to have them all. Very last one in this particular mix, kind of an interesting choice. Um, this is the new body in SX. This is from Fast 9. Uh, this is the only one I don't have back here, unfortunately. Um, so this, again, same-o, same-o. It's a re-release. Um, this one's going to be quite different as well. Of course, different wheels, although they still have both black wheels between the two. Number 5 of 5. Since we're at the very, very end, we will just go ahead and show the back of the card real quick. Just so you guys have the details, they do show the movie that it came from on each one. Of course, the other part of the mix, deets right there, assortment codes, you know, all that good stuff, barcode, should you want all that stuff. Sometimes people want that stuff, throw it in there. It's not a big deal just to give you the information, should you want that information. Uh, we'll pull the NSX out, hopefully. So this guy has the same, you know, kind of 10-spoke that the S14 did, uh, just in silver again, front and rear tampos as you know the original was. So taking a look at these on each side, um, you will notice that the interior plastic of the new one, which is on the left, uh, is significantly darker than the original. So definitely a much, much, much darker gray. Um, although the silvers look pretty close to the same, this new one's maybe a little bit more metallic, just a little bit though. I mean, just a little bit. Uh, taking a look at that, you know, Acura logo on the front, it is printed up on both 
although the print is much, much better on the new one, which is on the left. Taking a look at the front details, they are the same deets between the two, but again, just more black, um, just a little bit more black on the one on the left, just a little bit more, you know, deep, deep color, you know, deep involvement, I guess you can say. It, it looks pretty good, though. I think it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Um, taking a look at the side print, the original one had none. The new one does have print right there on the door handle, just a little bit of black on the door handle, just to set it apart a little bit. Of course, the wheel, the new wheel on the bottom is bazillion times better than the one on the top. That GT wheel is just not good on this car at all. Taking a look at the rear deets, the original is going to be on your right. The new one is on the left. Uh, they are the same prints between the two, a little bit darker red on the new one, which is on the left. Um, other than that, they are the same. You'll notice that the base part down there is much, much different. So obviously, the new one being on the left, you know it is going to be matte black. Of course, every single one of them has that matte black base um, versus all these satin black ones from the uh, original versions. Uh, again, Thailand and Indonesia, so different between the two. So not too shabby. So we'll take our little card guy here, and we'll we'll do ourselves a little a little car meet. Not a huge car meet, but a little a little car meet. We'll put some R33s in there. We'll bring our you know eclipses up in there. You know, we'll maybe um, throw the R34s, maybe like that. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. We'll put the R34s out there. And then we'll put our two S14s. So there you go. That is the newest retro entertainment mix. That is Fast and Furious. Just called Fast and Furious. That's literally what it's called. And um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I was uh, surprised. Surprised. I thought, you know, you know Black Wheels, it's a gimmick. Um, but there's actually quite a bit of improvements on them. Obviously, the Eclipse has been interesting. It just changes wheels every time they make it. Um, very interesting to see if that will ever come out in a different non-Fast and Furious livery ever. But I don't know. I don't know if it ever will. Um, other than that, of course, super happy to get another R33. We don't get enough of those at all. Um, and then, of course, nice to get another S14. We'll see if that guy comes to the basic range at some point in time. But uh, there you go. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you're a fan of Fast and Furious. You're done with that stuff. You want more, bring it on. Um, I'm super happy that Hot Wheels is still kind of figuring out ways to put their Fast and Furious stuff together. Although, maybe not like this. Give us some. Give us something different, you know. There's a lot of cars in those movies. Nine movies. Um, so let's, let's expand the horizon. So anyways, definitely a good set. Pretty happy with it. So uh, pick this up at Walmart. So it is available if you guys want to go out there and try to hunt it. Uh, good luck. Level in, we're saying, hey, peace.